my Finland loves, it's Miss Finland D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. If you're not caught up on this story, go through the Rachel Lindsay and Brian episode of playlist. I have all of my videos from Bachelor Nation on that playlist and you can get caught up that way. But basically in a, in a, in a brief summary, Jordan and Jenna were both on Bachelor in Paradise. They met there, they fell in love, he proposed, she said yes, they were engaged, planned a wedding for next year everything's going great and a few days after you know they were on tv and just living in bliss and happy these text messages were revealed that jenna was cheating on jordan okay jordan agreed to go on the podcast of the guy who exposed these text messages reality steve most people were saying then jordan how come you're just going to believe these fake text messages this is your fiance and you're just going to quickly believe and then also go on the podcast of the guy who exposed her so people were giving jordan the side eye yes he got a lot of support and based on his now ex-fiance jenna behavior on bachelor in paradise you know People were supporting him because Jenna had a wandering eye, but that's what the show is about. You know, you go over there to find yourself and date multiple people and figure out the best one for you. But people just felt like when she was already in something serious with Jordan, she kept going on dates to other people and things like that. So because she already got that rep on the show, people just believe that she actually sent these text messages, okay? So basically, Jordan also said that there were some emails that the public did not get to see. And based on those emails, the way how the conversation was going between Jenna and, you know, this other person that she cheated on him with, it just sounded too, you know, similar that he knows it was Jenna. He also claimed that when he got to talk to her and he said, did you see these text messages? Her response wasn't, oh my God, no, and freaking out and basically denying it. She was like, oh, I don't remember sending those messages. Almost like, what? Someone just, you know, caught you cheating. And if you didn't do it, you'd be like, are you questioning me? You would be mad. But he said that her response also led him to make a decision. Other theories were Jordan got back, watched the show, was over Jenna, realized that, you know what? It, I was in my head. I'm off this island. I'm back home. I'm happy. I want to explore different things. I don't want Jenna anymore. And if I break up with her, I'm going to end up looking like and being a bad guy. And I don't want to be the bad guy. So I'm going to go ahead and set something up to set her up. That was the other theory that Jordan was the one who did all of this. And it had nothing to do with Jenna. So Jordan released his statements. Jenna released her statements. And guys, please go and watch those videos because I don't want to keep going back and putting everything on the screen because then it makes the video longer and i'm being repetitive you know so anyways go ahead and watch those videos for all of those evidence that i just talked about okay well jenna hopped back on instagram basically saying that you know she have proof coming and you know for people to just you know wait for it and watch that video i did another video on her statements okay then recently, you know, she posted about positivity and all of that. But um, Jordan, wow, Jordan fired back by releasing the email from Jenna attorney where people are saying this is not an attorney at all based on how this was the email was written. And that is either Jenna or one of Jenna associates pretending to be her attorney but the attorney had the name on there and it's an actual law firm so let's go ahead and read these evidence page one Mr. Kimbo as you know I represent Jenna Cooper in the ongoing investigation of the fabricated text posted by Reality Steve I've called you multiple times at different times so that we can discuss the clear and convincing forensic results. Example, Jenna did not send those texts published by Reality Steve and my willingness to meet with you to share the same if necessary. 
You also indicated to my partner, Bill Young, that you were willing to discuss this matter in more detail and will provide time times to speak in more detail. All right, despite your, okay, despite your representations to Bill, we have not heard from you, likely because you know what we know. Example, that you created the fabricated text posted by, ooh, Mm. It's saying Jordan did this. Now, before I go any further, Jenna was hoping that she was going to find out who did this and she was going to prove it to Jordan and they were going to ride off into the sunset together and live happily ever after. But it looks like allegedly Jordan did it. Now, one of the reasons why people are saying, yes, Jordan did this is because how quick he was to break up with her and go on the podcast of the person who posted this. Now you can say he did that because of gratitude. If it wasn't for reality Steve, he would have probably married this girl and find out things about her later. So he did the podcast basically to tell this man who exposed his cheating, his cheating fiance to say thank you. This is what most people are saying. Other people are saying, nah, man, that's just too quick for you to not believe her and just jump on the podcast and announce a breakup and all of that. Like you can't claim you love somebody, you know, all of these things. But let's go ahead and continue. Jordan, mm, you are clearly avoiding a situation because you know the truth already. This is your last opportunity to <laughs> the harm to Jenna before we take action against you and Steven Carbone. Oh, we're about to go to court. Mm. Specifically, you have until 12 p.m. Eastern on October 6, 2018 to publicly state that you have satisfactory evidence and you know that Jenna did not send those fabricated texts and you apologize for being quick to judge. If you fail, ooh, the situation as requested above, then I intend to one, release the historic text between you and Jenna, which the public can ooh, which the public can see compared to the fabricated text and make their own conclusions. You should note that the only man Jenna ever called princess in the text message is you. On August 26, 2018, at 7.33 a.m., Lord, Jenna texts you and said, Good morning, princess, with lips emoji following. On August 30th, 2018, at, ooh, you text Jenna, melts my heart. Lord, mm. they, they got dates now, Jordan. Jordan, <laughs> this is getting juicy. Mm. Numerous other unique texts that appear only in text exchange exchange between you and Jenna that match the fabricated text you sent to Stephen Carbone. Indeed, the fabricated text appears to be a Cliff Notes version of your text with Jenna. We can let the public make their own conclusion when they see the text between you and Jenna. File a lawsuit against Stephen Carbone in which he will be compelled to produce all of his communications, files, etc. At that point, I will further confirm my suspicions about who I think fabricated the text and sent them to Stephen Carbone, which I don't think you want me to do. Well... Jordan posting this publicly is basically, let me, let me, let me continue. We're almost at the end. Oof, please do not contact Jenna. All communications are to be directed to Bill and I. If I hear that you contact, <laughs> you contact Jenna. What, what attorney is this, Lord? 
this opportunity is gone and I will respond accordingly. If you release this email to anyone other than a lawyer you may consult with, then this opportunity is also gone and I will respond accordingly. This is your final opportunity to release a public statement. Ooh, child, sorry for all of my noises, but this is, this is good. <laughs> then you, you know what? The show was so boring. Like this right here is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and listen, guys, if Jordan really, truly loved Jenna and vice versa, then yes, it's a sad situation. So all my oohs and ahs and all of that, it's not me getting joy out of people being hurt. It's me getting joy out of the petty crap that's going on with the attorney. It has nothing to do with these two. It's just, they are not playing. I love that Jenna is fighting back. Jenna is not stupid. You are not about to mess up my coins, okay? Not over no show. You are not about to ruin my career and I'm going to roll over. You want to play that game and put out messages saying I send them? Oh, we can make fake text messages too and say you did the same thing. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Well, if you release this email to anyone too late. <laughs> This is your final opportunity to release a public statement. <laughs> oh, God, ready to get some of the harm done to Jenna. The harm done to Jenna. I know the truth, and I am giving you an easy out. Lord, this is your final opportunity to release a public statement. And if you use that word one more time, some of the harm to Jenna, I know the truth, and I am giving you an easy out. Uh, sincerely, Justin R. Apple. Oh, okay. Uh, look at the first comment that I see. Look at the first comment that I see. I understand wanting to be in the mix, but girl, baby Becca, there she go again. <laughs> Jenna goes on Instagram and pretends to be working out. Like the way how she's even using the machine is just messed up. She goes on Instagram to just so she can play, <laughs> she can show that she's like literally showing that I'm strong. So she's in the gym and then listen to the song she's playing. Yeah. Love this song. Love, love this song. The words, everything. All right, Jenna. Jordan was like, okay, I can be petty too. He hopped on Instagram like, I'm not speaking on this anymore. I don't really think anyone quite understands what I'm going through lately. Um, be careful with who you choose to put in your life. I won't be talking about this matter anymore. Thank you. Well, girl, release those text messages sue them go to court make an example out of them all right do it and then ask them to pay your attorney fees do it let them release all of the email communication matter of fact go as far as tracking the ip address to see who computer or phone send those emails that reality steve refuse to release it's going to tell you exactly who did it if he's not quickly erasing stuff right now oh yeah oh yeah don't just post no text messages and saying jordan lie it was him no if you're saying this is a lie do all of that all of that and make an example out of jordan for trying to ruin your life if that's what you're saying happened here Mm, mm, mm. Hot mess. So, anyways, that's the latest in um, Jordy and Jenna news. So Jordy hopped into his comment session and 
basically responded to you know a few people making comments and things like that so i'm just going to go ahead and put it on the screen as we um, end this video um it's the six so jordan did not release a statement he's basically writing he's the wrong one to come sideways at he's in vancouver i mean he's claiming he's It's done, it's done. This is his last time talking about it. But so far, he has not released a public apology. So I really do hope, money or not, that they go through with this lawsuit. Because, um, <laughs> I mean, I know it's petty, but if you're going to prove your point, then go all the way. Like, really go all the way. People saying, oh, I know Benoit, all the other guys are counting their blessings right now. I don't think so. I mean, different guys bring a different conclusion. So you never know if she had ended up with somebody else, if this was going to happen. If I'm not saying Jordan did this, I don't know. It's, you know, it's a petty back and forth. But yeah, I don't think things would end up, would have ended up this way had she ended up with a different guy. So I don't really uh, believe in that. Um, yeah, I get it. The drama right now makes sense that, ooh, child, I dodge a bullet. But like I said, uh, different guys bring a different outcome. So regardless of all of the back and forth, I do wish, um, or in all seriousness, I do wish Jenna and Jordan the best. And, you know, just to clear her name, if she, if she, if she really did not do this, then wow she really has some evil people in her life and at this point there's no room for reconciliation because she just accused him of something terrible that he did this and put all this together and i mean <laughs> He was so quick to jump on that radio and in that interview it makes you wonder so i'm waiting for our attorneys to release the other information and i'll be back with part whatever what part now like six seven i don't know <laughs> but i'll be back with it man but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it here my final loves i am wishing you all an amazing day if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notification so that you're aware when i post and i will see you all in the comment section Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing a good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.